welcome back to the channel. It's been a couple of days for me. Um, lots going on here. I wanted to pop back on though and get back on our tarot series. So thank you for your understanding in my absence. Um, I'll just tell a little story real quick about my father. Those of you who've been following, um, he's been in the ICU. He was in there 17 days. Um, and he finally got moved to a regular room yesterday. And if dialysis and so forth goes okay, then he will be released to a care center. So what changed for him was a will to live. So that goes back to our strength card and the chariot card. A will to live is an important part of actually living. You know, when he initially went in, he kind of was feeling like purposeless. That maybe he completed everything he was here for and it left him you know, very close to the edge and making that decision. Um, he said he changed because he realized he, he took his family for granted more than he wanted to. And um, though I don't think any of us would really think that, um, I see where he's coming from. You know, we can all uh, pay more attention to our surroundings, to the people in our lives and appreciate them so we don't regret, you know, we don't have regrets later on. Anyway, uh, thanks for your well wishes on that. Today we're talking about the Justice card. We're in my herbal tarot. It is plantain. Or in my crow tarot. As you can see, the theme is the scales. And the Justice card, which is the 11th card um, in the series, it is card 11. Um, this card is about really divine justice. It can mean legal stuff. It can mean the law, um, being involved in such things. Or well, it's really just talking about things being fair or just, or noting, you know, something occurred that maybe wasn't fully in alignment and these things are gonna be karmically worked out. There is some sense of karma here. Uh, we do have the sword represented and a weighing of things, right? So the mind is very involved in this. Um, there's also a sword in this one. Interestingly, plantain, the herb, is always found around like poison oak or poison ivy. And it is a natural remedy um, to that, which is kind of the way the forest is balancing out the poison with the medicine, right? So in your life, also you can think the justice card is represented um, it could be it with Ida and Pingala, the channels being balanced out um, or then needing to be balanced out when you see this. And you might do some alternate nostril breathing and so forth. Or you can look at, you know, what is going on in my life that is being brought into divine justice or a message from the divine that, hey, things are being made, um, like your dues are getting paid or if you owe dues, they're going to be taken now. So it is the sense of bringing things back into divine order, divine harmony, balance, again, with the scales. This is the Libra energy. Um, so it can mean in your relationships, definitely, uh, relationship sector. So anyone that you are relating to where the scales have been out of balance, especially if you see this card in the reverse, this is things being out of balance or being unfair or unjust or trouble with the law or so forth. This can also indicate some kind of document um, or vow or contract. It can um, point to a soul contract even or um, like a vow that you took in another lifetime maybe, or a genetic um, ancestral like promise or commitment or covenant um, that maybe needs to be worked out. Sometimes it seems like those are just 
um, but they can be unjust. Because this is card 11, there is a sense of mastery here, needing to bring the scales to balance in yourself, your own life force energy, so the next level of mastery or attainment can be um, had. So, and then of course you see like the purple robes and the green, very royal. Um, so again, with the divine justice, what is divinely meant to occur? You know, sometimes it might seem like, hey, it's not fair, or, you know, something's happening that doesn't seem cool socially, or, you know, whatever people's ideas are of that. But remember, there's always a divine justice taking place that is taking into account other lifetimes, other contracts, other, you know, relationships beyond the ones that we may see on the surface. So where it may seem like it's cut and dry, there are actually a lot of lines that have led up to these moments when we see this card that can indicate there's a, a bigger justice being made or a, you know, a greater sense of fairness. Again, divine justice is kind of the words that just keep wanting to come around this. Um, and that do doesn't always seem fair in this life, in this incarnation, but it is the greater cycles being balanced, right? So, balance of left and right side of the body, balance of left and right hemispheres, maybe indicated by this archetypal energy, um, someone in the legal profession, if you know someone like that, this energy could also indicate them if you are using it in a reading. Um, I'm trying to think what else to say about this. Um, I, when I relate it back to like health situations, uh, like with my dad or something going on, again, it's like, it's a divine justice that's playing out. Um, and sometimes that looks like or means, you know, you haven't had a lot of struggles in your life and in order to experience the polarities so that you can have the alchemical experience, then the other side of the coin needs to be experienced. There needs to be a balancing of the scales. So that's where I, sometimes people have a difficult early life and a very blessed later life or vice versa because that is divine justice. That is understanding the polarities of this reality and learning you know, to honor both. You can't really do shadow work and honor the shadow if there isn't really any shadows acknowledged, right? If you're like, oh, well, everything's been very sheltered and good and you know, there isn't any of that darkness. Well, divine justice likes to see to it that we all experience you know, these polarities, because that's important in balancing the inner um, system. So I think that's, that's about good on the justice card. If you have any questions about that archetype, please leave it below. Um, if you do want to have a personal reading, please reach out to me. Um, my email and my website are below. Those are always done on a by donation basis, and they can be done live on a Zoom or over text messaging, um, text app with audio recordings and videos, or if you're local, then we can meet um, in person for that. So I am still in Utah at the moment. So if you're around family, sending you lots of love and wishing you a beautiful Wednesday if you're watching it this day. Day of Mercury and the mind and travel and movement about and um, all mental things, alchemical things. So blessings on your day. Today, if you're watching this today, I've, I'm putting it up or any day that you're watching this, these energies are influencing you. So again, as always, take what resonates with you from this video, leave the rest behind. If you liked it, please like it, subscribe so you can get all the video notifications for, for future tarot archetypes and awakening or any of my other videos. Um, I'm just appreciating you being here. Okay. Much love to you all. Namaste.